Now, see a refraction of light through glass slab. Suppose you have taken glass slab in this way here, this is the rectangular here, the glass slab here, opposite faces are parallel. Suppose this is here A, B, C, and D. There is air and glass interface, and there is glass and air. Suppose we have taken normal at this point and angle of incidence here, this is incident ray. After refraction, this ray will come to like this and this is called angle of refraction r and at this point we draw normal and then we take this is angle of emergence, sorry emergent ray and this one is known as angle of emergence. So, this one is here incident ray and this one is known as emergent ray and now here this is uh, we can take here the like here air, here is glass and again it is here air. So, for interface A B, for interface A B we can write mu G with respect to any that is uh, air that is only mu g it is written here that we can write sin i upon sin r. Similarly, for this this is r and this is e here. For this also we can write we can reverse the path and we can take also for this case. So, for phase interface we can write here d c. In this case we can write refractive index of air with respect to glass is equal to sin r upon sin e. So, glass with respect to air can be written here. So, mu g with respect to air is equal to sin e upon sin r that is actually I am using principle of reversibility. So, now this and this are equal. So, we can write sin i upon sin r is equal to sin e upon sin r from these two equations. So, we will be getting here sin i upon sin r is equal to sin e upon sin r this will get cancelled or we can write i is equal to e. It means angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence. So, there is no actually deviation but when we produce this ray like this. So, we will find incident ray produced and emergent rays are parallel to each other and but they are laterally displaced actually. So, the perpendicular distance between these two rays this is the perpendicular distance if you have taken that is a suppose a small d this perpendicular distance between the incident ray produced and emergent ray is known as lateral displacement. So, in the glass slab actually there is no angular deviation of the rays, but there is actually lateral displacement and also see here we do not get a spectrum in case of the glass slab.